Hello, in this lecture we will give an overview of stability evaluation. The time during which the stability is tested is important, but usually not specified in the guidelines. Only the brief recommendations are given. The reason is that depending on the particular situation, the suitable length of the stability study can be very different and should be decided by the analyst itself. Usually, when the stability of uh, the analyzed sample solutions or standard solutions is evaluated, the injections of a sample and standard solutions are carried out overnight. Testing of not yet prepared samples should be carried out during at least a 48-hour period after which the components should be quantified and the terms of storage and conditions that uh, improve the stability over the time should be identified. The experimental design of stability testing should take into account most important parameters, time and temperature of analysis and the stability results should be used as the indicator to adjust one or other in order to improve the stability of analyte or internal standard. Stability should be studied at least at two concentration levels, low and high concentration level and with matrix matching the real life matrix. For this, the native blank biological matrix should be used and the analyte should be spiked into the matrix at these concentration levels. Benchtop stability or short-term stability at room temperature or sample processing temperature will indicate analyte stability under the sample preparation conditions. Freeze and thaw stability is evaluated usually during the free thawing cycles to predict the possible delays and glitches on the sample handling. Stability should be evaluated in different time points and the samples should be analyzed in six replicates. The analyte or internal standard stability in test or reference solutions is expressed uh, on two ways, either evaluating it via chromatographic peak areas where S0 indicates the peak area in the beginning of analys analysis and ST indicates the peak area after the period of time T. Or another way of evaluating the stability would be using uh, concentrations where uh, C0 indicates the concentration in the beginning of analysis and CT indicates the concentration after the period of time. The average percentage of analyte found in the sample under the specific conditions is uh, expressed as the stability. The freshly prepared cal calibration standards are considered as containing 100% of the initial analyte content. This was the short overview of evaluation of stability. Thank <laughs> you.